Sander Cook. I'm the director of production here at the Rouse Center. I'm Lindsay Wolf. I'm the sound supervisor here at the Rouse Center. We've been asked today to take you through a little bit backstage and talk to you about the, our counterweight system. Uh, if you've ever wondered what the giant seven-story fly tower or monolith in downtown Crystal Lake is, that is, in fact, what it is. You can see it from pretty much everywhere in the surrounding area, is so that if we have a 25-foot curtain that we want to bring in so that you can see it, we need 25 feet above, above the proscenium line to be able to hide that so that it can go away. There's the stage, and then we have curtains, we have movie screens, we've got lighting instruments and everything else that have to go out of the way, back in, and this is how we do it. Uh, everything is on a batten or a large pipe in the sky, and this is our counterweight. You can see it here. So everything that's on a pipe up there weighs a certain amount, so we have to counterbalance that on the other end of the ropes that go all the way across with this giant steel weight here to make sure that it moves smoothly back and forth and doesn't run away. This is your brake. You flip the brake, get it started. And right now I'm gonna bring in the movie screen, I believe. Yeah. And then you lock it back off again. When it's time to fly it out, unlock. You pull on the back rope instead and bring the counterweight back down. Right. So if you've got a 700 pound curtain or a 1200 pound curtain, as long as you have 700 or 1200 pounds on this end as well, it doesn't take much effort to slide it back and forth. It, as opposed to trying to do it just manually, which would take five or six people to try and haul. That's how it works from here. <laughs> 